Hi guys! I'm back with another insurance reveal. So now, I would like to discuss the first insurance that I actually ever paid for. So it is this one, Generali Philippines, which is now BDO Life. Okay? So, my dad bought me this policy when I graduated college. So, he paid for the first year of this policy and then when I got my first corporate job, he asked me to pay for it. So, yung gift niya yung first year ng policy, basically. Okay. So, ano bang benefits na tong policy na to? So, I started this at the age of 21. So, actually, medyo mabigat yung premiums na to kasi... I was earning around 18,000 every month. My office was in McKinley Hill in BGC. So, isipin nyo, 18,000 per month lang yung sahod ko. But, I had to pay for this insurance policy, which is 60,000 pesos per year or 5,000 pesos per month. So, diba, ang laki, ang laki kagad ng kalta sa sahod ko. Because, 18,000 minus 5, so that's uh, 13,000 left. I had to spend around 3,000 pesos for my commute. So kaya lagi ako nagbabaon para at least I have some funds left over for my savings. So yeah. So what are the benefits of my policy? So my policy is called the Money 8 Secure. 8 years to pay siya. But, wala siya masyadong insurance benefit. So, I did not know what I was paying for because I really didn't understand insurance. Kaya nga, I went into the insurance industry so that I could understand what it is I'm paying for. So, the Money 8 Secure is a 20-year policy, meaning it will mature after 20 years. What do we mean by mature? Ibig sabihin tapos na yung plan after 20 years. So, uh, by 2033, tapos na yung plan. Expired na yung policy. So, that is the expiry or maturity date. So, this is payable for 8 years. So, 8 years times 60,000, that is around 480,000 pesos for 8 years na binabayaran ko. Pero ano ba yung benefits niya? Actually, ang only guaranteed benefit niya is the life insurance coverage or the sum assured of 240,000 pesos and 759. Pero, on the, for the 3rd year, double yun. So, my insurance coverage will be 480,000 pesos na. So, isipin nyo, I paid... 480,000 pesos and my life insurance is the same. 480,000 pesos. Wala siyang living benefits, wala siyang critical illness coverage, wala siyang disability coverage, wala siyang accident coverage, or any hospitalization benefits. It's basically simply life insurance lang. Pag namatay ako, dun lang magka-benefit. But, meron tong payouts. So, every two years, I get a dividend or cash benefit of 19,260 pesos every two years for 20 years. And then at the 20th year, I get a return of premium or guaranteed cash payout or maturity benefit of 404,000 pesos. So, if we calculate all of that, I paid 60,000 pesos for 8 years. That is a total of 480,000 in premiums paid. The payouts every 2 years will amount to around 170,000 and then at the 20th year, I get around 404,000 pesos. Overall, mababalik yung money ko to around 577,000 pesos. Which is around 20% uh, gain. We, if you divide that by 20 years, that's around 1% yearly gain lang. So, di ba? Parang lugi ako. Lugi ako sa 
inflation basically diba but since tapos ko na kasi tong bayaran nung 2020 kasi naka 8 years na siya by then um wala so yun na yung ano ito na yung plan kasi nga gift sa akin to ni papa honestly the plan itself personally is not a good investment but of course my dad didn't know any better then because he wanted for me to learn how to save properly so it's just a way for him to teach me how to save properly but if ako yung pipiliin i personally would not have bought this policy because at a young age yung 5000 ko every month could have afforded me much better life insurance benefits na my critical illness coverage, my accident, disability, and so on. I could have saved in better life insurance plans. But, ayun. So, that is one of my insurance policies. I think this is called an annuity na my uh, cash benefits. But, there are better life insurance policies out there that have guaranteed living benefits. I personally do not recommend a policy like this, lalo na while we're young, because I don't need the payouts every two years. Kasi I would have just invested my money in better investment vehicles, which could have given me a much higher gain. But yun nga, I just think of this policy as my dad's way of teaching me how to allocate and budget my money properly. So, I don't regret it. But if kukuha ka nga ng sarili mong policy at a young age, I really do not suggest a limited payment plan for your insurance policy kasi sayang yung age mo and sayang yung guaranteed living benefits that you could have afforded rather than if you focus on the investment. Remember, if nag-focus ka sa investment at a young age, okay lang na it's not recommended. I mean, okay lang naman. Pero kasi, sayang yung age and yung health mo eh. When you're older, it's going to be more expensive to buy your own policy. And it will also depend on your health. If you're not healthy anymore, mas hassle kumuha ng policy because you need to undergo medical exam. Plus, mas mahal yung babayaran mo for the same amount of coverage if you got one while you were still young and healthy. So, I highly suggest a longer savings plan with an insurance company that could provide you with better and bigger living benefits, especially si critical illness coverage. So, I hope you learned something from me today. So, that is my insurance reveal insurance number two. And... I will get back to you with more videos about my other insurance policies. Bye-bye!